Hello everybody, it's me, VoiceOver Winter. Welcome to the video. So today, as you can see, we are gonna be organizing my bookshelves. For maybe the past, like, I don't know, maybe three years, I have used the color blocking, color organizational method for my books. I don't know, it's just been fun and I've really enjoyed it uh, while it lasted. However, lately I've realized that a lot of my shelves are becoming more crowded and I don't know, I'm just, I'm ready for a change. You know, I wanna try something different. Now that I'm reading a lot more, I needed to find like a different sort of solution and you'll see why in a little bit. I also obviously am such a Harry Potter nerd. <laughs> oh my God, hello Draco and Lucius. I also like to display my Harry Potter stuff on my shelves. I like to give them their own little center thing and you know, attention. Gosh, this past year, like with the pandemic and everything, I've gotten really into like Harry Potter Legos. Hello, Monster Book of Monsters eating Draco, thank you. And yeah, I've just been finding myself adding to my collection a little bit more. So I wanna give these guys a little bit more of a home. Here we have my mountain of to be read books. My pile has never been this large, so I decided that I also wanted to have a shelf completely dedicated to to be read. Right now, we're just gonna be decluttering all of my shelves, taking off everything, putting them on the ground. I still wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to organize my shelves at this point. So yeah, it was definitely like a process. Things shifted around a lot. Sometimes when we see these organizational videos, it looks really easy when people are putting their books up. And I know from experience, as I'm sure you guys know from experience, it's not easy to reorganize shelves. And while I do cut out a lot of my in decisiveness, I do keep some in and you'll be seeing that. I collect nutcrackers in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> I also wanted to try and keep as many books on my shelf as possible. Like up top, I had a bunch of different like artworks and things like that, which couldn't really see. But in my new setup, I wanted to dedicate more space to books and I wanted to give myself more breathing room to grow. My blues, like my blue books were just out of control. I had a lot of blue books two shelves as you can see and then I feel like I had a lot of black books and a lot of red books and I mean by no means do I have a lot of books in general um, I did a huge purge like forever ago when I was got really into like the Marie Kondo method oh yeah and I've been getting more pink books lately now that I'm saying but anyways uh, I did a big purge and basically the books that I keep and I have I've kept to it so the books that I genuinely enjoy or no, like I'll read again or just really like, or I mean, to be quite frank, have amazing covers, even if I don't particularly love the book, I've kept because I like the covers. So I don't feel the need to get rid of any books during this video. Um, if anything, I feel like I kind of curb my Harry Potter collection and I kind of keep what is like most essential in there. Um, also, in case you were wondering, the bookcases I have, so the two ones on the outs outside are the Ikea Gersby book bookcases. They're not as wide or as tall as the Billy bookcases, but for what I have, like, you know, they fit my needs perfectly. And then in the middle, I put up these floating um, shelves from, I think, Lowe's. They were only like, I don't know, $12 each, and they come in a ton of different like widths and stuff. However, I did not secure them to the wall how you should, so they don't hold as much weight as they should, and you will see later on that that also becomes a problem. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh yeah, and this little bookcase, it was, I haven't, I honestly cannot remember. I know I got it at Ikea. It's, it's not part of the Billy collection or anything. I actually found it in the children's department. So I was taking out these shelves and rearranging them a little bit. Clearly I'm not a carpenter. Um, but, <laughs> oh my God. But we got there in the end, it's okay. And now we're into the like decorating. I started out with my Harry Potter stuff just because that had the most knickknacks and I wanted to get it out of the way. I didn't wanna lose any of my little Lego people. My cat was running around my room just like trying to eat Draco and stuff. Also, chocolate frogs are my favorite Harry Potter candy, in case anyone was wondering. And this is what we have to work with. Alright, so first off, I probably began with one of the easiest shelves. This is my young adult shelf. I think most of these are young adult. I realized like during the great purge of books, I got rid of a lot of my YA books. So now this is kind of like all I'm left with. But if you watch my last vlog or the vlog before that, I can't remember which one, you'll know that I'm kind of getting back into YA. So that'll be interesting. This next shelf was also pretty easy. This is my writing shelf. Next we have, okay, this is a weird shelf. This is my nonfiction slash Holocaust slash, I guess like historical fiction shelf, memoirs. There's a lot going on on the shelf. I'm not a big nonfiction reader, but I do have some books that are nonfiction and the Holocaust and the World War, it just, it has really interested me for a long time. Moving on, this is my to be read shelf. I'm really excited. Um, I took out a book at the very beginning because I actually ended up, uh, I was reading it, but I wanted to bring all of my books into this room to make sure everything had a spot before I started taking stuff back out. Since then, I have finished that book. It's called Girls of a Certain Age. And honestly, I'm pretty sure it's my first five star book of the summer. It's a collection of stories. Next, we're moving on to my series shelf. So I realized as I was organizing my books that I didn't have a lot of series. So these next two shelves were probably like the most difficult for me to like get right. So these are my classic slash children's books, I guess you could say, which is very strange that I kept, you know, I got rid of a lot of my YA books during like the Great Book Purge, but I kept a lot of the children's books and I, you know, I still read them sometimes. <laughs> As you can see, my three copies of The Secret Garden, um, probably my favorite book of all time. There you go. I kind of showed both of these shelves at once because as I was going through, I realized that my classic books 
and my children's books overlapped a lot, so I just kind of mixed them all in together. Not necessarily in a, like a particular order when it came down to it. I knew I wanted to display my Secret Garden books because for the past couple years, they've always been on different shelves because they've been different colors. And now I was like, you know what? I just want to put them together. Like, screw it. I don't care if anybody knows I have three copies of the same book because they're all beautiful. <laughs> And I kind of tried to do these guys by size order as well, just because, I don't know, I think that looks good to have bigger books and then go down into smaller books or have a little theme going on. But I tried not to get too, like, caught up in it, even though I kind of did. I'm sorry. And then facing out Peter Pan, because he's like the greatest little jerk of all time. Next, we're moving on to my fiction slash uh, contemporary slash literary fiction shelves. I don't really know what to call these, but these are like my grown up books, you know? A handful of them are books like fiction that I had to read for school. There's Down Days. Again, not my favorite book of all time by any means, but the cover is so amazing. And here we are at the top. So I decided to create just a little showcase of my own books at the top. Hashtag go buy my books. <laughs> I paired each book with an art print that I made for each book. They're all in like the same style, but they're all different sceneries that kind of, you know, go along with the book. All right, now we're moving on to finishing touches, you know, little knickknacks, just stuff that I already had on my shelves that I like seeing displayed and help fills in some empty gaps, sentimental items, you know. Okay, this is when I realized where I tried to put my poetry books and my little novellas and I realized the shelf was just not gonna handle it. So I had to do some rearranging. I think I put this stack in, yeah, with my more like literary fiction, you know, stuff like that. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> and this is the final result. It definitely looks more like a grown-up bookcase, I will admit. I think arranging it by genre and kind of my different tastes and, you know, the books that I actually own just made it, um, make this a lot more, I guess, practical for me. But I really like the look of these. I know they're not, it's not like super aesthetically pleasing and I don't mind the breathability in there. It gives me room to grow and add stuff. And overall, I'm just really happy with my library in general. And I think that's the most important thing. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time.